today from London, England. It's the NFL International Series on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the New England Patriots and the Green Bay Packers. On the return is J.J. Taylor. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Jones. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. First carry for Damian Harris, the Alabama man. That's a good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Again, it's Harris on second down. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized. The other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. And now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That old line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. A gain of six there on first. Second down, it's Harris, and he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. On third down, here's Harris. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs. Get There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. That was a really good opening drive on a number of fronts. Ten plays, very methodical, set the tone. So you know right now, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're on the sideline saying, okay, what do we have to dial up in order to get off the field a lot faster? Because both sides are out there for ten plays, but one side comes off energized, 
And the other side comes off with some questions. Full connects on the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. A 10-play drive that time, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Rodgers going to return it from his end zone, and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 24. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Out of the backfield, this is Aaron Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play, won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? On second and nine, Rodgers. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Robert Tunyon, the intended target, but now it'll be third down. Now it's Rodgers. This one swung out here to Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. This early in the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. And he's got this down to the 35. Defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a first down carry by Jones. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Here's Rodgers to throw. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 23. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On first down, Rodgers. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. A gain of six there on first. Working with a second and four. Now Rodgers. He's got Tanya complete over the middle. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Well, Brandon, obviously no panic in them. They gave up the touchdown. Yeah, their defensive side did that. But he's already taken them back downfield. I love this field general that they've got. It's almost like he went to the defensive captain and said, don't worry about it. We got you. Now they got first and goal. Yeah, we're seeing punch, counter punch, and this could be setting the table for quite the game. I like that. Let's, let's go ahead and put it in the boxing ring, right? You're going to get hit sometimes. Can you respond and hit back? And they're trying to do exactly that. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. 
A great job there, Charles, just to hold on, absorb that contact. I guess that's the risk you take catching the ball toward the middle of the field. It is, and if you're going to gain yardage, you're going to have to go there at some point. But how about the read, okay? The eyes of that play, stepping out from the middle of the field and really making a big hit. Did not get free, but boy, that's a tough area to go into when you're going into his spot. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Robert Tunyon there to make the grab. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Crosby connects on the extra point. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. This fielded right at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Pats at the line ready to go. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, didn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Now it looks like we've got a Patriot down, slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we get back. On third down, it's Harris. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Give him eight yards on the carry, and that's going to bring up fourth down. They'll try and run with a full. Johnson. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. In lieu of the sneak on fourth and inches, they just say, give it to the big man in the backfield. Yeah, fullback no less. Not many of those left in the NFL, but for those that have one, perfect time to use them, perfect time to get it done. Jones throw taken in by Bourne. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Second down, this is Harris. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. 54 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Harris. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. On every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run and run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. He comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. These two teams all tied after one. From the 25, here's second and six. Throwing Jones. is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 13-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Now a first down carry for Harris. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. 
Off play action. Jones. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry with his second touchdown here this first half. And the Patriots have taken the lead. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. Now Aaron Rodgers and the offense heading back onto the field. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure that his team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game. But just let them know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me. We'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. They're going for the yard, but this is intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. Well, certainly not his best throw that time, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field. Guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do. It gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. Normally, you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Back to throw. Jones. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. 78 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. But you talked about the need for them to establish the run early. They've been able to do that here in the first half. And that means that the whole offense has adopted that attitude and that persona. We're going to take care of this young quarterback. Let's all get together and run it and take the pressure off. Three yards the game there, second down. They hand this off to Harris. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jair Alexander. And the Packers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Adams. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, 
you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And so room to maneuver. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Holding offense. Could have been a game-tying touchdown. They'll have to hold on that at least for now. Ouch in a big way, like ripping the Band-Aid off there. Can they let the sting subside and come back and get it done? They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. But well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. On second and 12, Rodgers. They'll get this complete to the Notre Dame man, Equinemius St. Brown. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. They'll run on first down. It's Jones. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. The give is to Jones. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. The Packers on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Rodgers now to throw. Got a man. It's Tunyon. Now the ball comes loose. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And he's going to return it to the 21 yard. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in, in meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. On the give, this is Harris. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as the tackle made here at the 36. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes... And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Well, Zedarius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Both sides were holding their breath there fourth down play and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief and both knew exactly where the first down markers were you know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front but somehow some way those guys found a way to pick it up and he'll snag about five yards down in the 32 that's a really nice tough run inside and they gained five yards on it and to be frank about it most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that so when they do they go back
back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Stokes. And now the rookie's free. Pass the 20. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. Now Crosby for the point after. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So the defense creating some points. Now beginning to get intercepted. But then returning to the end zone for the Pistons. This one tied at 14 now. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And following the pick six, and they have a decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. They told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? And he'll let this go deep for Bourne. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. Complete Hunter Henry with a grab. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. As they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's going to look downfield for Henry. They got his man. Takes it down deep into Green Bay territory. Big play there for New England. Real part, I'm not sure if this drive is going to end. How about the way they flip field position there? He's attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Try and run for it on first and goal. They'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Denny and Harris, an 80-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots have moved out in front. Now fold for the extra point. It's up and good. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. 
Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers, his throw incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. And this is caught. Mercedes Lewis with a grab. Second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Rodgers again now. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Second and ten. Rodgers gonna throw. And able to find Allen Lazard. He's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. He's got his man. seconds remaining here in the second quarter. So now on fourth down, Rodgers will give way to Mason Crosby for the field goal try. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. They're going to take the... It's up close to the 40, so really good starting field position. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And with decent starting field position, they're maybe only a couple completions away from field goal range. Finding some room in midfield. He gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Jones now on first and 10. The 20, 10, and he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play there just before halftime. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 20. So the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Well, the Packers ready to go to start quarter number three. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. 
Rodgers throw taken in by Adams. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A big play there on the catch and run. And you need a big play? Go to your big play guy. Listen, that's football 101. When you have to have it, you expect that guy to step up. A lot of people call these receivers divas. Sometimes just leadership when they get in the huddle and say, get me the ball, I'm about to make a big play. Meanwhile, Rodgers' throw taken in by Valdez Scantling. And he's going to get this inside the 30. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Here's Jones again on second down. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. I just think a major focus of the halftime makes had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Touchdown, Packers! Robert Tunyon, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And once again, the Packers, they're back out in front. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And that gives him a three-point lead. So the drive there took six plays. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone. So we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent is still the same in what they plan to do on offense. They'll run it here. This is James White. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Jones keeps it himself. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. There may have been a little bit of an element of surprise there. Third and inches and they go quarterback sneak. I still feel like this is a play that often is reserved for fourth down. On first down, Harris. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Looking to throw. Jones. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. They've been brilliant, perfect on fourth down so far. Three for three, and they're going to try again here. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. And that's a big pickup on the first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. And maybe 
good measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Second and 11 now. Back to throw. Jones. Now right to board. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. On second down now, it's Harris. 133 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Looking to throw, Jones. He's got his man, it's Kendrick Bourne. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. They run again with Harris. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. They'll try and power it home here with a fullback, Johnson. Now he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. Again, they keep it on the ground, and again, it's Johnson. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Patriots have retaken the lead. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try again. They go to the big man, second time he gets it done. Almost as if they were feeling like he was establishing a rhythm. Give it to him again and again, and how about the end result? Finishes it off in the end zone. Touchdown, great run, and the score. An unsuccessful attempt at the two-point conversion. And it was a triple option play, and they chose option one, handing it to the fullback. And that's not normal. And sometimes you just miss your read key, right? Yeah, I think so. And sometimes they actually call that, thinking that maybe everyone will bypass the fullback going out to the, the tailback or the quarterback. But in this case, they overwhelmed him and stopped it. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Throwing again on second down. Rodgers. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Dante Hightower on the stop. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, this is the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 45-yard line. 
Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys on plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about... And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Christian Barmore breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. And defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective... Took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. Flush to his right. Room to run inside the 40. And he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. A heck of an effort there on the scramble leaves him with just third and a yard. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And it was the stiff arm there that freed him enough to get the first before he's tackled. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been 7-on-7 seven seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Adams hauling it in from Rodgers. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 23. From the gun, it's Rodgers. This is caught with a catch right side. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Now a draw play, this is Jones. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantlin. And he's going to have a Packers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And now that you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now. But you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back at the 24. Matthew Judon in there to take him down. And it's never going to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. If you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. The Packers on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and 14. And that is... Complete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up four. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major. Firing at a pin from 
from the fairway trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. New England trying to get a place on offense. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. 139 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Harris going to get it again on second down. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency break. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. with good solid yardage he'll take that anytime you hand the ball to a back on third down Harris and he's going to have the Patriots first down as he's got this up to about the 34 yard line oh that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players isn't it tough hard gritty run got behind his pads bowled over a few people look at that Right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They've definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. First down. It's Harris. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. From just shy of midfield, Jones. Finds a seat inside the 40. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 39. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. This is Harris. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. First down, and they go back to Harris. Tackle made by Devondre Campbell. He was open to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really stretch your defense. type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled the run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call it run fits, everyone was in the right place. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Now we'll run with a fullback, Johnson. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. And how about that on third down? So many different directions an offense can go. Throw it out wide to the receivers, get it to their speedy running back. They changed up everything and handed it to the fullback, and he surprised them all and picked up a first down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. They give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. 
So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. They've got it second and goal as they look to grab a late lead. They'll try to run with Harris. Now he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Damian Harris, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. And that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off now. On the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before. And if you haven't, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here. But that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side. Maybe a little gas. Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting up field and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. To throw is Rodgers. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Rodgers to throw. Pass complete, Tanya. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down of the 46. First down now, but that clock rolling. Jones has it. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll bring up second down. Back to throw, Rodgers. That is caught. It's the tight end, Tunyon. And he's got another first down. It's a tackle going to be made at the Patriots' 18. Now Rodgers. This is caught. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. the incompletion. Back to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown. Oh, but there is a marker on the field. So now the question, who is this on? And yes, they want the points, so they will decline <laughs> the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't even do know why they asked the sidebar. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we may very well be headed overtime. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. Taylor now to return it. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. To throw is Jones. Packer pressure, and down he goes. With inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise. We get whistles and a timeout on the field. So after the sack here, second and 14. They'll try the right side with Harris. And he'll 
get it up to the 33-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And we've got three football. Four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. On the return, it's Taylor. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So the Patriots coming out now. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. No partner, none of these runs individually. No, three plays, all three short runs, but together, a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, fourth coming. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And that nearly picked off. Oh, that would have been a big INT here in overtime. Instead, they'll get another shot on third down. What will they draw up to try to keep this opening drive of overtime? Third and seven. Room to run past midfield. And all the way down to the 41-yard line. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Chris Barnes there on the stop. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Again, it's Stevenson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They're getting ready to go to work now. Prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot. He picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Now Jones. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Close quickly. It helped force the incompletion. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers' 15-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. to just turn and hand it to the biggest guy you have in the backfield. But usually, he's not the primary runner. So for the defense, they're often keying on the running back because he's the guy who gets the ball more often, and the fullback is the blocker. When he ends up carrying the football, that's a heck of a tendency breaker. And now you're just trying to jump on his back and hold on. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They run once more with Stevenson. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They've had some success here in overtime with this opening drive running the football right back to that well. And why not? When you have that kind of success, make them stop you. And until they do, keep going back to that well. You just... And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. 
Ortiz. As the fan takes it back out through the turnstiles, not happy looks on their faces. Feel like they probably let this one slip away at home in overtime. I would agree with that, and, and their unhappiness hurts the guys in the concession stands on the way out, right? <laughs> not stopping to buy something for the kids. They just want to get home. But what a dramatic way to finish this bad boy off. I mean, this game was dramatic all the way through. That's why we got to overtime. And then to go ahead and finish it this way, the fans screaming out unhappy. But the team that came in here and won this one on the road, they sprinted to their locker room. And speaking of buying things, dinner on you tonight, Davis. I kind of figured that was coming. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say cheerio from London.